They use it for chest colds. Mm -hmm. So if you have stuffy nose, you mm -hmm. can't breathe, mm -hmm. right? Hoarseness, mm -hmm. sinusitis, mm -hmm. fever. But there are times when the tree will make a sound like a woodpecker. The trumpet tree? Yeah, it will make a sound like a woodpecker, like if rain is going to fall. Hey guys, well, let's see here again from myislandjamaica.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Continuing to showcase the awesome medicinal plants here in Jamaica. And today we're going to look at one that, if you ask me, it's probably the most underrated plant here. It is the trumpet tree or the trumpet leaf. And I'm back with Monique. That same lady that talk about the Cersei. Yes, Monique from Earth Medicine. She's gonna help us to understand what is it? What is it good for? And how it can benefit you. First though, a few shout outs to some awesome people. Jaden, Yasmin, and Masha. These people are my subscribers. And they were asking questions and we were engaging about the trumpet leaf. So guys, this is for you. For all my people who continue to like, share, comment on my videos, I say thank you too. Really appreciate it. Well listen, if you are here for the first time, meaning you're brand new, I say special welcome. Glad to have you. I do a lot of videos capturing stuff like these. People, places, everything about Jamaica including medicinal herbs I don't want you to miss any of that so if you have whatever reason if you've not yet subscribed to my channel I invite you now to join us man it's pretty easy just hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification that way you'll see updated on all my latest videos one more thing I have a little bonus at the end for you there's something about this plant the trumpet tree that is gonna shock you I would probably say blow your mind it is I'm gonna share it at the end so stay with us for that bonus information. Let's go to Trumpet Leaf. Alright, so this is the Trumpet Tree Leaf. Uh, actually, the Trumpet Tree. And this is what it looks like. This is a baby one, never mind. But that's the essence of it. That's a little baby trunk there. And that's the leaf. That is what it looks like. And this is Monique Hi from Earth Medicine. And this is Rocky from Earth Medicine. You remember the both of them from the, from the, episode. from the yeah, Cersei video. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to have you. How are you do? We are right, just so far. Uh, awesome. It's so wonderful to be here. Yeah. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Yes. We're gonna talk about the trumpet. We're gonna talk about the trumpet. All right. What tree. can you tell us about this particular tree first? All right. So the trumpet leaf tree mm. is another one of our medicinal plants here in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and. Um, the trumpet leaf is mm -hmm. one of the common names that it has, mm -hmm. but it has many common names. It depends on where in the region it is found, mm -hmm. where, you know, which region it is found. Mm -hmm. And um, pretty much it's used in traditional medicine to treat a lot of different um, health issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is what it looks like. Yes, so the leaf of the plant is used, but there are other parts of the um, tree that is used mm -hmm. in traditional medicine, but you know we can talk about some of the main uses because we won't be able to talk about everything because it's mm. so the list is so long but just before you talk start to talk about the it i should mention that in my own little research earlier i found out that the tree the trumpet tree has and if you ask me I, again i believe it's probably one of the most underrated plants mm -hmm. the the bark can be used as rope i was right. told right, right, right. the trunk or the wood can be used yeah. as they use it for make tools and instruments yeah the yeah, yeah. like drum and whatever it is right oh. the the leaf actually people smoke the leaf as well so in, a, in addition to the medicinal component people actually smoke the leaf mm -hmm. <laughs> i didn't the know dry, that the dry leaf is used yeah. as a tobacco substitute that is a trumpet tree guys yes, did yes. you know all of that we're gonna learn even more so yes so tell us about what do you know about the health benefits um, or the traditional uses of this amazing plant here, Monique? All right, so like I was saying, it is used to treat a lot of health issues, right? Uh, uh -huh. Now, um, people in Trinidad believe that this plant is like was made for upper respiratory tract infection. They use it for chest colds. Mm -hmm. so if you have stuffy nose, mm -hmm. you can't breathe, mm -hmm. right? Hoarseness, mm -hmm. sinusitis, mm -hmm. fever. Mm -hmm. um, all of that, mm. yes, they use it for that. Mm -hmm. They use it for like when the women are in labor, mm -hmm. it um, they use it to make the labor more um, easier, it's easier uh -huh. and to reduce the pain. 
um, menstrual problems mm -hmm. like cramps. Mm -hmm. Also, for if you if you have irregular period mm -hmm. or if your menses are heavy, you mm -hmm. can use it for that. Mm -hmm. It's also used for weight loss. Uh, oh. It also it helps your body to metabolize mm -hmm. more effectively. Mm -hmm. It's used for kidney infections. Wow. If you have albumin, which is uh -huh. a protein uh -huh. that leaves the blood and goes into the urine, uh -huh. it can be used for that. Uh -huh. Parkinson's disease, Whoa. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Bryce disease. Yeah, um, it helps to make your your your, um, your kidneys function better. Uh -huh. Um, for cardiovascular problems, uh -huh. it's used to but not treat diabetes, but to control it uh -huh. and to control um hypertension. Uh -huh. um, oh. It's also used externally, mm -hmm. like for sores mm -hmm. and that type of thing. Like uh -huh. if you have diabetic sores or uh -huh. sores caused from cancer, uh -huh. there's other there's the tree. The trees also use like for warts, uh -huh. calluses, uh -huh. herpes, uh -huh. sores, that uh -huh. type of thing. Yes. This is one of the plants for everything. Yes. There's, very, uh, there's a lot more, but very, like I said, I can't mention. Guys, everything. give her a thumbs up. <laughs> give her a thumbs up. Yes. No, she did absolutely yes, yes. Uh, amazing. Uh, all of those health benefits in one plant and right. that's why I personally believe when I was doing my own independent research that this is definitely under an underrated plant there's a fruit right. there's a fruit as well it bears a fruit right it does uh, yeah, yeah but um just before we talk about the fruit I'm gonna uh, go back to Rocky the Rocky to tell us yeah. a little bit more about the, the tree itself Rocky uh, okay. how, how does it as, how, how tall does it grow this tree I can grow upwards to 50 feet uh -huh. 70 feet tall mm -hmm. 30 feet, mm -hmm. 50 feet, 70 feet tall up in the air. Uh -huh. And a chunk it can be between 2 feet up to 3 feet. Wide? Wide. Yeah. So yeah, it gets yeah. pretty big? Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. The, the fruit, yeah. the fruit, I'm going to ask you, um, to, behind you there, is a, we have a baby, yeah. that baby tree there. There's a tree where, there. So there's a fruit, we said. So, so show us where, where, how the, where the fruit, where, we don't have a fruit now. But no, we don't have any fruit. But typically where would it grow? But the fruit now would be there right here. Uh -huh. And go up and uh -huh. after now it there came back down. Uh -huh. So the fruit now can be about 3 inches uh -huh. to 4 inches long. Uh -huh. So when it be there, it be right on that way to the limb down here. So. Uh -huh. yeah. And it ripe and, I guess it ripe and fall off like any other fruit. They will ripe and after that they will fall uh -huh. off the tree. Alright. Right. Monique, uh, what what else you want to talk about um fruit what else can you tell us about the fruit itself all right so i've never had it uh -huh. and um here in jamaica it's not traditional for us to have it but in other cultures they do have it mm -hmm. um persons also call it the old man's fingers because it looks like an old man's finger uh -huh. and i was told that it's sweet uh -huh. it has a sweetish taste so it's like a cross between a watermelon and mm -hmm. cantaloupe and uh -huh. raisin uh -huh. and the texture of it is like raisin mm -hmm. you know uh -huh. yes oh so it's sweet i guess that's a little bit of sweetish so it's food. edible? It's, it's definitely edible, yes. But are you going to have it now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, next time you're having it, call me. Let me, let me, let me try it out and I, see. I will definitely do uh, so. Let me ask, actually, guys, uh, you, you're watching. Tell me, have you, have you, did you know about trumpet leaf, A? And if you know about it, did you know that there's a fruit, B? And if you know there's a fruit, B, to C, have you ever had it? I would love, I would love to hear from you. You want to say something? Well, Leslie, I, I, I think I need to mention something because sure. this particular thing, I don't think a lot of people know this. Uh -huh. In traditional medicine, they make a paste from the leaf mm -hmm. and they use that as a shampoo. Oh! And they, and they put that on skin rashes. Uh -huh. Right. Really? Yeah, in some, in some cultures. Okay. Uh, traditionally, how do we use trumpet leaf? Basically, you just use the dried leaves to make tea. Uh -huh. So you would use like one teaspoon uh -huh. of it uh -huh. to one cup of hot water. Uh -huh. And actually, that's what that's what Rocky is crushing here. This is what it looks. This is what the, the dried the dried leaves was crushed like this. Yeah. You just crush it and um, okay. So cool. Now use this amount to, uh -huh. to a cup of tea. A cup of tea. Yeah, okay. Cool. A cup of tea. So tell me about the tea again. Right, so as Rocky said, some persons can crush it up like that mm. and use it to make tea. Uh -huh. So it's like one teaspoon uh -huh. to one cup of hot water. Mm -hmm. Right, some people will actually dry the leaves, mm -hmm. uh, use the dried leaves and turn it into powder. Mm -hmm. And then when you do it that way, you get a more accurate measurement. Mm -hmm. You know, can just scoop out the one teaspoon that is needed. Yes. Mm. How much or how often do you take that? All right, you can use it to build your immune system to, you know, uh -huh. so if, if you're using it to build it or to maintain it, you can probably take a cup every day. Mm -hmm. But if you're using it so to treat upper respiratory mm -hmm. infection, you mm -hmm. can have as, you use it as needed. So mm -hmm. maybe three, four cups for the day. Mm. Yes. 
Awesome. So because in, in in previous video we talk about the fact that herbs in general should should not be taken for more than I think to, we said nine seven to, to, to nine days. To be honest with you, yep. there are certain herbs, it depends. Mm -hmm. You know, like mint tea. Mm -hmm. Everybody know peppermint. That is something that you can have every day. Every day. Do anything. Yes. So it really depends. You have yeah. to know your herbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are so many do's and don'ts. Yes, yes. But this one is, is one yes. you can have all the time. Right. To build immunity, you're saying. You can use it to build it and to maintain what you have so that you don't get sick, you know? Okay. Amazing yes. plan yes. that the yes. world yes. need to know about. <laughs> the world need to know about. Oh Rocky, Rocky has oh, this is question nine. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. By the way, if you're looking to get some crushed or powdered trumpet leaf, there's a link in the description. Check it out. Yeah, Check it out. I'm curious. Do you know why they call it trumpet leaf? I uh, certainly here in Jamaica. Well, the reason why mm. is because it is used oh. as um, to make a trumpet or oh. to make a blow tube uh -huh. or a trumpet. So they use the leaf petiole, which is uh -huh. this part that is attached to the leaf uh -huh. and the hollow what do you call branches. It? It's the petiole of petiole. the leaf. This is the part that connects uh -huh. the leaf. When you look on the tree, see here? Uh -huh. It connects it to here. Uh -huh. so this part is called the petiole. Uh -huh. On some trees, it's very short. And uh -huh. so this one, it's very long. Uh -huh. So they uh -huh. use this part to make blow tube uh -huh. or trumpets. Uh -huh. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. And also the hollow branches. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the branches are hollow and the uh -huh. trunk is hollow. Okay. Yeah. Would you agree with me? Be honest with me now that this plant is underrated? It is underrated because yeah. a lot of persons are not aware. Yeah. You know, they're not aware. Yeah. They're not aware. But yeah. In fact, I think many of us see it as invasive because it, it's not, it has a lot of the dried leaf is all, all, always on the ground. It's and, always dropping on the ground. And the ground. It can and, be a nuisance. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. But now you know, guys, now you know how important this, this, how useful this plant is. So we're at the point where we're going to sh share the bonus information. This is interesting. But just before, share with my audience where they can right. where they learn more about what you do. All right, so basically, like what, Le like what Leslie was saying, mm. that um, the channel focuses on the different types of medicinal plants that you'll find in Jamaica mm. and in other tropical and subtropical regions around the world and how it's used in traditional medicine, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, you mm. know. And um, the handle is at Earth's Medicine, mm -hmm. so it's E-A-R-T-H-S Medicine. Yes. On, on YouTube mainly. And, and on YouTube mainly. Uh -huh. I'm on all the all the other platforms, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And, and there's mainly a, YouTube is my main platform. There's a link in the description as well, guys. So just click on it and check out uh, the Earth Medicine for more information, more juicy information, and stuff like these. And now the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> what can you share? There's something pretty interesting about the trumpet leaf mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. trumpet leaf in right. relation to a hurricane right, right. believe it or not guys when you look at the plant look at all the leaves you can put the camera notice the leaves uh -huh. right when we're expecting a hurricane here in jamaica you know we, this is a hurricane territory or uh -huh. storm territory uh -huh. and in the caribbean uh -huh. the leaves will change and they, they start to droop like this oh and that's how we know yeah. that we are expecting a storm or a hurricane. No joke. No joke. No joke. Yes. And I have testimony. I, I know a gentleman in Portland. Mm -hmm. I have another gentleman in Portland. I didn't tell you, right? No. Yeah, in Portland who, who actually said the same thing. He said people are saying hurricane is coming, but he wasn't worried. <laughs> he wasn't worried because he's watching his trumpet, trumpet leaf, trumpet tree. Yes. Because as, as Monique had said, guys, it looks like this normally, right? It looks like this normally. Yeah. But when the hurricane is coming, it falls. Right. Amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah, right. God is good. God is good. So you can watch and your trumpet. There's another thing too. You know, there are times when the tree will make a sound like a woodpecker. The trumpet tree? Yeah, it will make a sound like a woodpecker. Like if rain is going to fall or uh, something like that. That's uh, my, my mother was telling me that. Oh. She was sharing that in her days when she was Amazing. Young. Yeah, so this is not a normal tree. <laughs> but yet it's underrated. Yeah. Wow, the trumpet leaves, guys. Courtesy of Rocky and Monique from Earth Medicine. So much information. Listen, I jump out at you. I would love to hear. Is it the, the hurricane stuff? Is it the health benefit stuff? I would love to hear from you. Come, you know the routine. Drop a comment down below. And remember, if you're interested in getting the crush, crush trumpet leaf, there's a link in the description. Check it out as well. There's one more video I need you to see. 60 amazing medicinal plants of Jamaica. We did a tour of our property in St. Anne, uh, the Brodericks, and we captured what we consider to be the most popular, the most popular and perhaps the most potent medicinal plants in Jamaica. 60 of them. 
You need to see that. There's a link in the description and there's a link in the card above. See you, that one.